Hi everyone, today we will talk about the comparative and the superlative form of the adjectives. The first one will be the comparative form. We use comparatives to compare two people, places or things. In here, the most important part he is two people places or things okay uh, we put our adjective and then add er plus then more adjective and then we will give the details about the differences between those two now we will talk about the uh, uh, adjectives which has just one syllable if my adjective has just one syllable I put ER and then first example clean cleaner than old older than let's see them in, an, uh, in a sentence as an example Bart is taller than Maggie this airplane is older than that one another important point for one syllable adjective is if my adjective ends with or just has got uh, consonant, vowel and consonant order for the last three letters double the final consonant and then add ER and then for example let's look at big B is a consonant I is a vowel and G is a consonant again so if the order is like this I double the final consonant and add ER plus then another example is the same one as the order consonant, vowel consonant and we double the final consonant and then add ER plus then. Homer is fatter than March. March is fitter than Homer. Another point for one syllable adjectives. Adjective ending in E. Adjective plus R, not only uh, not ER but only ER plus then safe safer than large larger than New York is safer than Mexico City my house is larger than hers adjectives and then with y change into i e r y drops and it turns out to i homer is lazier you know it's lazy but y drops and turns out I then get ER lazier than Lisa Lisa is happier than Homer two or more syllable adjectives if my adjective has got two or more syllable I don't put ER but I uh, put more before my adjective 
then uh, add, then again, and uh, finish my sentence. Expensive has got three syllables. So I don't add any uh, suffix. So I use more expensive than. Interesting is the same. More interesting than. Let's look at our example and use them in the sentence. Maggie is more beautiful than Mrs. Burns. Mrs. Burns is better, I think. Mike is more intelligent than Max. Those were the O's that we talked about comparative forms. Now it is time to talk about the forms of superlatives for the adjectives. We use superlatives to compare people, places, or things mentioned in one in a group. Remember that we were talking about, uh, we were comparing two people, uh, places, or things in the comparatives. However, uh, it is different in the superlative form. Before my adjective, there should be the, and I add est as an affix, or the most plus adjective. We will give the differences between those two again. We will start with one syllable adjectives as in the comparative form. The plus adjective plus est. Our first example is clean, the cleanest, old, the oldest. Mr. Burns is the richest in Springfield. I think it is the coldest day. Consonant, vowel, consonant order, as in the comparative form, we again double the final consonant, the adjective EST. Big, remember we talked about the same consonant, vowel, consonant, then we doubled again and put EST, which shows me that this is the same below. Uh, superlative form, but don't forget the before it. Homer is the fattest in the Simpsons family. Jenny is the fittest girl in the class. Let's move to the adjectives which end with why change into IER. The letter Y again drops and turns out to I and sorry gets E S T. Homer is the laziest in the Simpsons family the happiest person in the Simpsons family. If we move to two or more syllable adjectives, the most plus adjective should be our order. Expensive has got three syllables. The most expensive, no other affix. The most interesting. Let's look at them in the example, in a sentence. 
Tony is the most dangerous gangster of the Springfield Mafia. It is the most popular film now. Here is an important part for the usage of both comparative and superlative. There are some irregular adjectives. Uh, good, bad, far, much, many, little, old are the irregular ones and uh, you should learn them by heart. Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Far, further or farther, the furthest or the farthest. Much, more or the most. Many, more, the most. Little, less, the least. Older, older or elder, oldest or eldest. So if you look at the exercises on this page, Peter is the best runner in the class. I have more eggs than I need. That is the worst thing that could happen. Their farm has produced the most tomatoes. Tommy swam the furthest of all the children. Two syllable adjectives that follow the two rules. There are some adjectives that can be used with both ER and EST and with more and the most. Okay, it means that you can add ER or more. You can add EST or the most. So these are the ones that we should know by heart as well. Those adjectives are clever, gentle, friendly, quiet and simple. The comparative forms clever, cleverer or more clever, cleverest or the most clever, gentle, gentler or more gentle, the gentlest or the most gentlest, friendlier or more friendly, the friendliest or the most friendly, quieter or more quiet, the quietest or the most quiet, simpler or more simple, the simplest or the most simple. Please learn them by heart as well because there are just five adjectives. We use the comparative form of the adjective with some degree modifiers. We use degree modifiers to put some emphasis on our adjective uh, and the comparative and the superlative forms. No, sorry, the comparative forms. To show a big difference, we use much and a lot. A cricket ball is much bigger than a golf ball. So it shows us that 
not only big but also much bigger okay a Jaguar is much more expensive than BMW it is not only more expensive but also much more expensive to show a small difference we use a little or a bit a football is a little smaller than a basketball a BMW is a little more expensive than a Toyota the Nile River is 6650 km long however the other river is 1047 km uh, long the Nile River is much longer than the Vistula River. So when we move to the equality like as as it shows that if two things are equal in some way we can use a comparison with as as. He has grown so much he is as tall as his father now. He is 180 his father is 180 as well he didn't run as fast as he did in the European Championship he ran 100 meter in 50 seconds in competition but he ran 100 meter in 12 seconds in the European Championship Homer is lazy Garfield is lazy too this is our example so we can say that Homer is as lazy as Garfield let's write the comparative and superlative forms of the adjectives below this is an exercise for you actually so let's do them together big remember the rule consonant vowel consonant bigger the biggest exciting more exciting the most exciting high higher the highest please follow the others you can stop the video and fill in the blanks and practice yourself those were the all about comparative and superlative thanks for listening